Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. My name is Emily Prasad. I am a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are readily available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for these questions are available in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. In addition to that, I have segregated all the videos in my channel into five playlists, namely easy type, medium type, hard type, only the premium quality which you get by paying in the lead code and also all questions including premium questions ordered by sequence. Okay, let's deep dive into the question we are tra trying to solve today. It is question number 1484, e type easy, group sort products by the date. Okay, let's go to lead code. I will explain. Okay, it is already asked in Adobe. Okay, and some startups. They have given the schema of a activity table. There are no primary key for this table. Okay, write an SQL query to find okay each date the number of different products sold and their names the sold product names for each it should be okay what they want is for each date what are the products they sold they want and they should be ordered lexicographically means alphabetically increasing order it should be ordered by return that result table by cell date okay three things they have asked for let's see it okay let's say let's group by cell date you can see 2030 2530 these things are there and 061 are these two things and uh, 062 yeah these two things are there if you see right now first thing is they have grouped by this cell date and they have counted how many unique things are there. For example, you can see here one unique thing, headphone, basket, t-shirt. Three unique things are there for cell date. Okay. And again for pencil, I mean 0601, it is pencil and basket. Two unique things are there. But for 0602, you can see that mask is there repeated. So the number of items is two, but distinct is only two. So distinct is only one. Total is two, one. Okay. Now what they done is, usually when we do group by, we can only aggregate the numerical functions using aggregate functions like sum, minimum, maximum, etc. But we can also group by the non-numerical columns which are categorical columns, for example using string aggregate. Okay. Now what we need to try is, first of all we need to take only the distinct cell date and product date, if you see this uh, mask and everything it is repeated twice it was not counted into that after that they have taken the only unique things they grouped by cell date they have counted how many number of times number of things are there after that they have added all the things which are there in the product table in the increasing order of first letter alphabet if you see it okay bible pencil mask is there only once so they have done that one let's write the syntax for that from activities table group by first of all we want only unique things right yeah select distinct cell date comma product from activities okay now we remove the duplicate things Keep this as subquery. Now do let's what we want to do from this table. Let's give some alias name table one. We want to group by what in this distinct table cell date. Okay, we got the unique uh, items from this table. We are grouped by cell date and what we want cell date. Select cell date. Number of count. We need not keep count distinct because we are already taken from the distinct table only. So count star 
as num sold and you want the aggregation of all which is string aggregate which want which column you want to aggregate after grouping products table string aggregate if you see we are joining the products table but they are joined using what a comma so we want all items in the products table using comma okay uh, but it will order according to the situation which is for example first row second row third row with, by the order but we want by the order of what increasing order of that product name so I will keep within a group order by product ID I mean sorry product you need to give some alias name which they given here products let's run it again uh, just a minute I'm sorry sorry it, is, it should be inside this one because it is a string aggregated function within a group what we need to we need to keep here order by product just like a window function yeah now let's run it okay it accepted let's submit it okay it got submitted but if you see they have asked one more condition also you need to keep that without that also it is executing but we need to keep that cell by that yeah okay our methodology has accepted by all the test cases thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel it will motivate me a lot and share it with your study partner Try to be as disciplined as possible. Complete all the videos which are there in a different segregated playlist. And uh, try to do whatever you can. Just don't give up. Pre keep practicing.